Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about UFC Vegas 88, Marcin Tibora versus Tai Tuivasa. This card was pretty good. Didn't do great on my picks. I got five right out of 13 with one no contest in there. And I'm here today to talk to you guys about it. We started the night off with uh, da, 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 Chan Ellinger versus Jiragori. I think that's how you say it, the Ferocious. Chad and, and, and Hellinger just fought a really, really good fight. Was able to stick and move, pick his pick his shots, do good movement. Did cu get caught a couple of times, but just overall just was able to overwhelm him and uh, land some pretty nasty leg kicks. And then on to the second one, Tiago Moises versus Mitch Ramirez. Moises finishes him in round number three with leg kicks. Looked very poised in a veteran performance by Tiago Moises. I didn't have a lot of faith in Mitch Ramirez winning this fight. But I liked Moises a lot. I had him winning by submission, by finish, you know. But I liked Moises, and he got the job done. Mitch Ramirez just didn't do a lot of good in this fight, to me personally. And then uh, 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 Jacqueline Amorum defeated Corey McKenna via submission round number one. I thought McKenna would be able to be a little bit more well-rounded, use her takedowns, use her uh striking two takedowns to overwhelm her a little bit just be a little bit more of a mixed mar martial artist a more um, decent striker but very good on the ground mckenna catches the kick early and is able to uh take her down but gets caught in an arm bar taps twice it was a pretty weird instant in, in um situation and uh more wins that fight by submission Danny Silva defeated Josh Kulabal via third round decision. Danny Silva did exactly what I thought he'd do. Besides, I thought he'd have a little bit more output and a little bit more combinations. The thing that won Silva this fight was his wrestling, was his grappling. Uh, Kulabal just could not stop uh, Danny Silva from taking his back. Uh, Kulabal looked very, very good, like Danny Silva said in his post-fight interview, that every time he would use his footwork and stick and move, he was having a hard time finding Josh Kulabal. And the next, uh, my... One of my two picks I had talked about that you guys should have done. Hopefully you did. Jeff Elfio defeats Ode Osborne via submission. Four minutes and 27 seconds of round number one. I called this a couple days ago. I said this one and another one coming up here. and I'll talk about in a minute. Ode Osborne, crafty striker. Good movement. Um, but Jeff Elfio, just a very, very good grappler. And was able to find the submission exactly like I said he was going to do. And then you go to Chelsea Chandler defeating Josine Nunez. I thought Nunez won this. Or actually, I thought Chandler won 2-1, to one, but there's a possibility Nunez could have won it. I picked Nunez to win. Uh, Chandler looked absolutely awful, except when she was on the ground. She looked really, really big on the ground against Nunez. Nunez kind of gave away the second round. But third round, for sure, I thought was for Nunez. Pretty sure Nunez hurt Chandler at some point in this fight, and the cage kept her up. But Chandler still looked awful. Then we have Mike Davis uh, defeating Natan Levy by submission in the second round. Mike Davis just looked very well-rounded in this matchup. Was able to dominate Natan Levy in ways that we just really haven't seen before. Dropped him early, grappled with him, uh, which I thought was okay. And then Natan Levy let uh, Mike Davis get an arm triangle. And that was all she wrote for that one. And then uh, Joe Marshar defeats Brian Barberino by submission of round number two, late of round number two. And this was my second two of two picks I said for submissions. Marshar by submission. Bam Bam has a bad issue of giving up his back and getting submitted or arm triangle. Joe Marshar now has 10 rear naked chokes. He's a guy that can, if you give him enough chances on your back, he gets that submission. Good win for Joe Marshar. Brian, Brian Barberino didn't do a lot in this matchup. Then we have Macy Chesson versus Pani Kadzad. Pani Kadzad looked decent, looked uh, real strong on the ground. And then Macy Chesson was able to uh, roll with her and find her back. And once she got her back, it was it was all she wrote. She looked super strong. Mentally, she looked really, really good in this fight. One of her first in a long time. She looked real good. And then Christian Rodriguez versus uh, Isaac Dolgarian. I picked Rodriguez to win this matchup. Um, I, I just thought his... Uh, uh, the competition he's fought before, like JSP, Robo Roses, the uh, adversity he's gone through before, I thought it's what would probably win him this matchup. And it's kind of how it turned out. I thought Dolgarian won round one, rounds one and two, possibly a 10 8 in round one. Rodriguez possibly got a 10 8 in round three, but I still thought Isaac did enough to win, um, a, like a, what is that? Uh, 28 27. I think that's how it, but no, it would be a 
2927. Yeah, that's what that would be. A 2927. Um, no. Either way, I thought Dolgarian would, would win with a 10 8 round in there. But the, the judges gave it to Rodriguez. I don't see the second round that Rodriguez won. But I, I, I guess. Sure. And then uh, OSP versus Kennedy and Zekachu uh, decision. I thought Zekachu would be able to catch OSP, older OSP, and OSP was able to get Kennedy to fight his fight, to, to slow it down, go in rhythm, you strike, I strike, you strike, I strike, go toe to toe, and not really make it ugly until the third round. And by that time, it was too late. And OSP was able to do enough to get a win. I'm pretty sure they also said this fight was a, a split decision. I disagree 100%. I thought it was two rounds for OSP. Pretty damn clear in my opinion, but whatever. OSP looked refreshed in this one. Not saying he can go for a run, but he looked refreshed. And then you have An Anya Losa versus Brian Battle. Ends in a no, long, uh, no contest. I thought Losa striking would be able to do a lot of good in this matchup, and Brian Battle just looked super big, super strong, quick, good movement. Was beating up Losa. Wednesday, Losa was almost out of there at any point, but Brian Battle was doing some good work. And then there's a clash ahead or a moment where Losa's trying to go up from a situation and hits the chin of Battle. They back out, and Brian Battle puts his hands out like this, and his thumb goes right in his eye. Ends up telling the doctor that he can't see, and they wave the fight off. There's a, a little bit of a scrimmage at the end of it where they look at each other after the no contest is read, and Brian Battle says a bunch of, bunch of stuff to him. Losa says, I, I will do things to you. The matter of the fact is, Brian Battle doesn't poke him in his eye, because he does clearly poke him in his eye. The fight continues. Brian Battle's excuse was, I was beating him up, he was looking for a way out. You gave him the way out. If he was looking for one, you poked him in his eye, and he said he couldn't see, so he had a way out. If you don't poke him in his eye, he doesn't have a way out. That's the reality. Next, we go to the main event where I picked Tuivasa of Asa very early for a finish. Um, I said if this fight goes any later than two and a half rounds, Tybora will be able to get Tyra to Asa down to the ground and be able to do a lot of good work, probably submit him. Marcin Tybora gets Tyra of Asa down very early. And does a lot of good ground and pound from the back. And Tybora is able to submit him with a long, long, seemed like two-minute rear naked choke attempt. Uh, finally gets Tai Tuivasa to go to sleep. Tuivasa, the biggest issue in this fight, Tuivasa doesn't even defend the choke. He just tries toughing the choke out. And then he tries to, like, spin to get his chin away from it. Which, fine, but you're not moving it with your freaking hands. You're not defending the damn choke. And Marcin Tybor now defeats Tai Tuivasa for his fourth straight loss. It's over, Tai. Shit, it's damn near over for Tai Tybora. But it's over, Tai Tuivasa. It's over. As always, guys, I hope you enjoyed. I was live for almost four hours. I, I, I appreciate everybody that was there with me. This card, a lot of fun. Not a lot of people are going to like it. I am pretty, I enjoyed it, you know, quite a bit. But as always, thank you guys so much. Let me know what your favorite fight was, what upset you the most. Probably the Losa fight, but as always, guys, subscribe, like, comment. Peace.